Right, so Ben is back on the channel, everyone. It's been a while since we've seen each other, isn't it? Because uh, probably, yeah, when you had the Boxster. And uh, oh dear, good start, isn't it? Um, before this video, guys, you probably would have seen my sort of review with this M3. So that's the main reason I've come here today. But like I say, Ben has very kindly said, "Come and use my drill." Although you're probably going to do it because I have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah. M3 is looking very nice, mate, but I'm sure you guys will have all seen a full video with that. So make sure you uh, click the link to go and watch that now if you haven't already. Anyway, look, this is the piece you've got to worry about today, Ben. I'll break it. It's already pretty broken, so you'd have to do a good job to break it even more. The rear plate is on, not falling off, but there's a load of glue underneath uh, the actual plate. So it's just not very... Oh, you're going to put it off. Okay. No worries. Brilliant. Bit of a state, isn't it, mate? A little bit. Can't be having that. So, so look, you've got all of these literally bits of glue that are just sticking out from the paintwork. And that so is where this comes unless in. Unless we could get them off. Oh, ah, okay, you're gonna polish it down. So this is quite cool. It makes a bit of a mess, not gonna lie, but it will literally. Ah, that's very good. Is it dead? It's dying, yes. Oh, God. Can't really get to that bit. Come on. Right, so we've gone at this a little bit more and got basically all of the adhesive stuff off. As you can see, though, there's still a lot of whatever this black stuff is. It's, oh, I don't know what it is. Um, some of it will still peel away, so we'll do a little bit more at that. Next up though, we're going to have a go at drilling, just attached to drill. A drill bit. Drill bit. So we're going to have a go at the front then. Yeah, I think it will look a lot better without the, the stupid little number plate hole. I agree, as long as we can obviously get it stuck on the front, but and, uh, say we'll just drill it in. Yeah. Yeah, look at this thing, it's awful. I'll practice. Look at that stock or it's... Yeah, it's, it's from the dealership. Yeah. My E85 had that. Yeah. yeah. It's the first thing I got off it. This one's actually really, really rusty. Yeah, it might be interesting. I mean, this one looks really blunt, to be fair. <laughs> so not... I might have to get another one, but... Yeah, it's doing absolutely not a lot. I'll try and find another one for you, mate. All right, mate. So we've got a slightly bigger drill now. One of them is now loose. There's another like four screws. One of them is the middle one though, which is super rusty. So we'll probably do that last. But yeah, Ben's doing a, a superb job. I'm just really standing and getting in his way. Um, but I think it's gonna look so much better once that sort of number plate base is taken off and the plate is just put straight on the front. So I can't wait to finally see that. How much, how much have you unscrewed? Done all of it. Oh. Should I just try and pull it off? Okay, you go, yeah, go on, go on. Oh, oh. look at that. I think Ooh. this one just needs a bit more persuasion. Give it a tug. Oh, there it goes. Go on. That's much better. Yes. Look at that. Should we just leave it like that? Actually, yeah. that look on camera, that look looks it. so menacing. Yeah, look I'll at this. Fancy the massive holes. Oh, that does look good. It does, doesn't it? Should we just not bother with the plate? Yeah, solid. Let me just clean that up. Cool. End of the video, guys. Done. Thank you very much for watching. Click like, subscribe. <laughs> well, let's give it a little clean up. I mean, that just looks so good without the front plate, isn't it? You know my opinion on front plates, and mate. And there's no residue at all. None. Just the holes, obviously, in the bumper, which you can get filled in. If you like me. Look at that. That's looking naughty. Oh, looks good as well because you've done the black grills. But hold that a sec. Let's see what, what, what will it look like with just the plate. Because it is your meant you have to have a front plate, right? Yeah, it's the it's the law. Have but, you been pulled? Uh, an officer had a a little conversation with me, but his words were he didn't give a. F oh. So, <laughs> I've been re uh, They've refused. Got bigger fish to fry, haven't yeah, they? I've been refused petrol before, but oh, it's loads better. 
Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm a good boy, so we'll have to plate them. Okay. Right, so next thing to do then, because I obviously had a bodge go at myself sticking the plate on the front, uh, there's a load of adhesive strips that I applied. Well, actually, Halfords applied. You know Halfords? I paid Halfords five quid to do it again, and it fell off. <laughs> Idiots. Go back. Um, yeah, so let's get these off. That's so effortless. Cutting the grass, mate. <laughs> Needs it. So the plan for this is I'm going to mark it with the drill bit, take the post-it note off, drill halfway through, flip it over, drill the other half, because they kind of like split if you just drill through, which is really weird, but... Sounds good. You've been genius and using an old plate as well to line up where the hole should be, so... Fingers crossed this works. I hope that's in the middle because it did actually like kind of move but I suppose we're drilling through the bumper so we can get it yeah, looking fine. level can't we? Yeah it's fine. Nope. Oh. That's good mate. <laughs> Okay, well I didn't film the very last process of drilling the actual plate in because I had to actually help apply pressure to it, but the front plate is screwed on now. And it looks good, it looks good, doesn't it? It looks so much better. Look at it. Finally, I don't have to worry about the plate falling off. And yeah, simply just drilled uh, two there into, into the paintwork itself. Um, but yeah, I think, especially now that this base is off, that is, that's a horrible thing, isn't it? I hate that, honestly. Awful. And look at it now. That is, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's super flush relatively with the paintwork as well. Yes, there's a couple of gaps, but there's only two screws. So I'm really happy with that, Ben. You've done a stellar, stellar job. No worries. I recommend your services. Come anyway. down to rain Although customs I'm not paying anytime. You, so. Yeah, uh, it's all right. We've got the back to worry about though now, haven't we? Yeah, what are we doing with that? Sticking what it on that or in right do you want to screw it? What do you reckon? Let's have a look. Let's go and have a go. It might, you know what? For safety, it might need screwing. I noticed there were two holes already in the bumper. Oh, are there? But trying to line those up with the plate, might as well just screw in. Screw like new is. ones. Because the problem is, obviously, we've got all of this residue, which actually comes out uh, about half a centimetre. So with sticky pads, yeah, it will stick on, but it's always going to be a little bit. It? I mean, it'll protrude if we drill it as well, though. Yeah. I mean, a bumper. Just because so, of that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But we can drill through it, I don't know. it's fall off if we drill it. Yeah. Although... Personally, I prefer the sticky pads, like mine stuck on, so you don't have to screw heads, but... Well, I'll tell you what, let's stick it. You. Let's stick it. Should and if, stick it if it's... We'll just drill straight through. We'll drill through it. Jobs are good Sounds enough. Let's give it a go. Right, yeah, so with this one, we're going to try and stick it first. You've got some yeah, sticky pads. So, how many are we going to put on? Four, maybe six. Four. Is this, do you know what, should I close the boot and we can just do it on the boot? Yeah, go on then. Let me just stick this on there, get these out. Yeah. One in the middle, one there, one there. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's that got to be that sufficient, do, right? That's about middle. Boom. Oh, these ones are a bit different. Ooh, Ooh. that's red. <laughs> oh, I did a new brake light as well, Ben. You, you proud? Oh, yeah. It's not very... There's, I'm missing there, the it? middle screw. Oh, I, got, I found the spring, but now I've lost oh, oh. China. Oh, you're trusting me to do this, are you? Yeah. Oh. If you don't want to do it, I'll do it. I mean, you can tell me if it's level, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, let's yeah. give it a go. Shove that in my pocket. I'm just going to try and cover up as much of that crap as possible. Actually, is it worth having a go on that stuff with a bigger drill? Well, because of the power. Yeah. Uh, pass it here then. Cheers, lad. <laughs> no. It's not liking it. Well, is it? I don't know why, but 
It's just touching the bodywork and then going, nope. Oh. Is it helping? Yeah, I think it's getting there. It's quite hard though, isn't it? Yeah. That's straight, mate. That's about right, yeah. Yeah. Look at this though, guys. We've uh, managed to basically, well, ruin the hell out of this <laughs> area, but all of this stuff that was protruding is now flush. So in other words, number plate's gonna cover it up and uh, yeah. should be nice and flat and stick properly now, hopefully. Just get this bit off just in case you can see it. You mate, that's it. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe ever so slightly up on the right. Yeah, I think that's about. How is it right to left? Probably go to the right a tad. Yeah, that's that's about. Right there. That's about bang on, mate. Go for it. Hold it on there for a couple of seconds. I think it's fine. You reckon? I, I think it's ever so slightly angled down to the left and I it's wonder, a bit high. I think there'll be no peeling that off, is there? No. That's it, mate. Just I'll accept it. I'm happy with that. Looks level from up here. From any distance, you guys on camera let me know what you think, but look, I mean, it's alright, to be fair. It's certainly no worse than it was before. And it shouldn't fall around. off. It's not going to flap around either. Yeah, man, jobs are good and I'm happy with that. Yes, it's not quite perfect, but you'd, yeah, it's it's absolutely fine. Happy? Yeah. Hey. So we've now got a rear plate which isn't going to fall off and a much better looking all in front end, actually, with also a plate that will not fall off. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, yeah, it's just looking so much better for it now. And I can actually enjoy having the plates on without well, having one either in my dashboard or just worrying that they're going to fall off the whole time. So uh, I'm very, very happy. Thanks, Ben, so much. No worries. I actually really appreciate that. That's very kind deed of you, I sir. I think I'm more pleased with the front. The just, front? No, the front. Just because of losing that. Well, that you've, yeah, you've improved the car as well. Yeah. That also is a massive weight saving. So oh, yeah, this it's going to be like, what? This, it's going to be probably a second quicker on a quarter mile now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily. 100%. There we have it then, guys. I guess that's pretty much it. Done. Um, Thanks, Ben, so much. Really appreciate that. What, what we're going to go and do now, and like I say, you've seen this video, is go and film with this M3, which is going to be very exciting. But yeah, car's actually all fixed up with the new plates on, and I can finally enjoy them. So uh, yeah, happy days. Thanks so much again, Ben, for, for your help with that. No worries. Appreciate it. Couldn't Thanks have done fun. it without him, clearly. Um, And thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Go and subscribe to Ben's channel and follow him on Instagram. I'll leave his links in the description. And of course, if you haven't seen the M3 video, go and check that out now as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.